95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog. Hey, it's happy hour time. Must be time for a Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh from SR Pro is bringing us flavors and the man who makes it all happen from Alcatraz Brewing. It's all up next on The Morning Hog on 95.7 The Hog. Hey, it's time for a Morning Hog Brew Review. Morning Hog happy hour starts right now. I am Riggs. That is Josh from SR Parat. Yeah. Back in the house, baby. I'm Woo. clapping for myself. <laughs> Kind of weird. Wait, Josh. Graphs. Hold on a second. <laughs> there is some dude sitting right next to you that, I, re- that I recognize. <laughs> Tell everybody who we brought in the house. We got today. Steve Morgan from Head South and Alcatraz Brewing. Steve thank Morgan. You, sir. <laughs> sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hey, Steve. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. It's been a minute since you've been champion. in here, buddy. Returning champion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are the returning <laughs> champion. Yeah, for real. L- literally, are the returning champion. <laughs> and uh, I thought about you recently because I was drinking some of your beer uh, during a Georgia Bulldog huge win. Uh, last weekend or a couple weekends ago. Good for your uh, And I feel like this is the trend. So now it's only Alcatraz beer on game day for good, me. Good, good, <laughs> That's good. it. That's it. That's and it. we can talk Bring about wins. places you can pick that up or find it too. Yeah, I hear you're going on tour and I want to know about this. But Josh, uh, you were, were kind enough to bring us some of Steve's beer today. Steve to brought it this time, buddy. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So Straight Steve was kind enough. We know that it's cold. Okay, that's yeah, good. Exactly. That's good. Exactly. It's always in good condition, but we know for sure that it's cold today. Well, if people don't know, and you can find Alcatraz in a lot of places now. I like it. It's just growing. It's just morphing and, out. Isn't and, it? Head and, south. And, and head south. And head so south. Yeah. Two there's different two brands here. Okay. Go ahead. Let's yeah, I'll, I'll let Steve kind of explain what's going on with that while I uh, pour us our first one. So, so yeah, so so so, so Alcatraz, <laughs> which many of you are you got familiar napkins. with already. Oh, uh, napkins. Oh, we got to spill an aisle too. <laughs> it's all right. It happens. That's the beauty of beers. I got so, too excited. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I that's a, there's a story behind that, but we'll, yeah. we'll put that one aside. Yeah. Steve was doing jumping jacks outside <laughs> earlier. I saw him. He's getting warmed up for the show. So, so yeah. So Head South is a new brand from Alcatraz Brewing. So okay. uh, it's uh, obviously it, it's meant to in, indicate that it's a local brand. So Head South, as in you know Head, head South. Um, there's two two peers in the brand. There's a Head South 66 Hazy IPA, okay. which we're going to start with, and then there's a Head South 69 West Coast style IPA. Okay. So the numbers in the name indicate the alcohol of the beer and also the IBUs. Okay. So it's meant to telegraph to somebody it's 6.6 percent alcohol, 66 IBUs. Brilliant. And Head South is a brand is a fairly zen like. You're going to get into this, Riggs. I'm, I'm, a, a I'm, al- bit, I'm already into this. <laughs> I'm going to get a little zen like that. <laughs> I like it. Head South will only be IPAs, and every beer will have a number, and the number will always correspond to the percent alcohol in the IBU. That's IBUs. perfect. And you're, you're doing the thinking for people. <laughs> when you're having beer, you shouldn't have to think. Steve's helping you out. You're welcome. Okay, so this is... Head South, South. 66 Hazy 66. IPA. Mm. So the 66 in the name is a triple entendre. It references 6.6% alcohol, 66 okay. IBUs. All right. And it's also, a, you know what, this would be a great little interlude at some point. Depeche Mode, Route 66, the extended version. Oh, well, okay. Hold on a second. Tying version. it in. Somebody there break out go. the keyboards. So anyway, <laughs> so there you go. Here we go. So, but what I think most uni- is most unique about this beer, so the predominant hop is Citra, so you get a juicy characteristic to it. Very. But it's got a really clean finish. You yes. get to that back end, and you wait for that like IPA kick to come, that bite that some people don't like. It's not there. And it just finishes it's almost like there. you're drinking a German lager. You know, and, and we've seen some hazies where you couldn't see in the other side of the glass, but you can see through this one a little bit. If you want to wave to somebody through it, see, you can see me in there, right? Yeah, but I, I don't. I don't believe in the milkshake beer. It's really weird. There, are, there are hazies out there that literally, like, you can't see anything. It's it, and they're full of yeast. They're full of oatmeal, <laughs> right. or oat flakes. So right. this is. Yeah, I was this wondering is a, what they're kind this of This is a. This is a balanced <laughs> hazy IPA. Right. Yes, that's a good point, Josh. There's nothing hidden. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's this fantastic so beer. Nice yeah. backbone on that too. I really like the way the finish on it. Uh, it's fantastic. Easy drinking. Yeah, very now, easy drinking. The Head South brews. I've seen them a lot of places. Yep. Where's where's some places we can track them? So down? number one, uh, well, there's a lot of places, but certainly the Total Wine is mm-hmm. is like that's that's for my brand. That's the juggernaut. You'll find it in certain ABCs, Palm Coast, uh, Ormond Beach. Um, you'll find it at some independents as well, and then you'll find it on draft at a lot of different places. As you know, a lot of people rotate their tap handles these days, so you'll find it in places like the Brown Dog or, or other accounts, but then you may be rotated back out again later on. You'll find it at Grand Haven Golf Club and Grand Haven at uh, Village Center Cafe. So there's a number of places. Where there's you always a great there. source for that, too. 
Oh, you're talking about uh, srprot.com slash beer finder. That would be the one. <laughs> really, you can just that find it. it. Let, let that do it. And while we're doing our plugs, yeah. uh, in any time, uh, Facebook or Instagram, uh, alcatraz.beer, headsouth.beer. You can find uh, you can follow Simple us enough. on Facebook wow. and follow us on uh, Instagram. God, I want to get a dot .beer. <laughs> <laughs> Riggs.beer. Riggs. 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 Beer. I mean, yeah. look at it, if it's but available. You know it, it actually had just become available when I was doing the websites, and I'm like, I'd much rather be a dot .beer than yeah. Yeah. Um, for sure. Like, why not? <laughs> yeah. Josh, will you dot us another beer real quick? I can do that. I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Right, let's let's, let's see if I can open this one a little cleaner. Let's, 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 yeah, get ready. Get ready for the uh, edit. Oh, no. We're there fine. we go. Okay, we're we're, we're, we're good. totally good on this one. All right. So this is the Head South 69. The first nice. thing you're going to notice is more similarity than difference between the two beers. So okay. the 69 is uh, 6.9% alcohol, 69 IBUs. All right. Um, it's a it's a contemporary West Coast style IPA. So okay. the predominant hop in this beer is Simcoe. So you're going to get a nice dank nose. Oh. Dank, Do you want to explain dank? dank? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll let Josh explain okay. dank. Yeah. <laughs> so it, we've used that word quite a few times. And mm -hmm. actually there's a lot of breweries nowadays that actually use it as part of the name of their brand. Um, when you say dank, you're kind of referring to marijuana typically right, you know? right. Yeah. Um, sure but the hop like a good fresh bag of cents a million basically right, yeah. <laughs> right. It's very close in the uh, the uh the chart of whatever that plant is called <laughs> yeah well, well so wet plant the most closely related plant to hops there right. you go and so it's not unusual for a hop to have that aromatic but simcoe in particular is known for having it in a big way which is why i wanted that so what's interesting about these two beers is they're made the same way except for the first one was not filtered and the second one is. Okay. They're very similar alcohol, very similar IBUs, and yet they taste different because you, I'm using Citra in the first one, I'm using Simcoe in the second one. So you get that dank one here, other, in the other beer you got a little bit more of a juicy characteristic. I love drinking these side by side too so you can taste the direct comparison. Very it's much. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they are very different in that way. And yeah. There's a, yeah, they're, they're, they're from the same family, but this is back to that whole Zen-like thing. I had this on, ta on tap. Right? Yep. Uh, at uh, Where did I have it? Uh, well, I was telling you. I Cork and Pine. It. Cork and Pine, yes. Out there in Palm I Coast. sent Josh a text of me celebrating the Georgia Bulldog win, and I was like, ah, hold me. <laughs> uh, but we, I'm glad we defined where I was because I can't really remember. Uh, so, again, uh, this beer as well, same spot. You can find it. Total Wines. Total Wines. Get your ABCs. ABCs. Uh, a lot of different draft accounts. You've already mentioned a couple of them. Uh, so... Also, again, Grand Haven has it as well. So there's a number of places out here that you can find this beer on draft. Yeah, and the cool thing about these, you know, they're four pack, sixteen ounce cans, so you're getting a full pint. Right. Um, you know, I love full pints. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Who doesn't? And yeah. you're gonna want. Yeah, when you get through twelve ounces, you're gonna be like, oh, I wish I. And then you have more. That's right. the beauty of it. Right. So the other thing I wanted to say today. Let's and do this. This is a nice little transition as oh. we head into the Alcatraz beers. I love it. Is statewide. Okay. With an emphasis on the S. Statewide. State <laughs> statewide. Not just not just statewide, but statewide. Okay. Florida. So we're going statewide. Right. I'm going on tour. Okay. Riggs, I'm going on tour. Really? And actually, because you're a, a, a tour industry professional. Sure am. Maybe you could help me out with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So actually, if you do go uh, back to plug the, uh, the, the Facebook and the Instagram again, Alcatraz.beer, HeadSouth.beer, Facebook and, Facebook and Instagram. You'll find all the dates through December 23rd. So, uh, the course, the emphasis will always be on Volusia and Flagler County. Okay. So, you'll find a lot of dates in Daytona, in Palm Coast, and the surrounding area. I like it. But we're also going to be getting out to places like St. Augustine and Jacksonville. Really? We're getting out to places like, of course, Orlando. We'll be getting down to southern Florida, to places like Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Oh. So, those dates will all be up there. Uh, and uh, in the first week in December, we'll have dates for January and February. So I'm going to be on the really? road. Yeah, so I'm going to be on the road. So please come out and see me. Jeez, look out. So you're just like, were well, you loading up like a van, a couple of changes of underwear, <laughs> some Alcatraz t-shirts, and you're just... Uh, the most important thing, what takes the most space, yeah. is all the coolers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> so like, point. it's different than most tours. Well, it's no similar because you would have like all the sound equipment, right? That was yeah. what take up all the space. Right. right? Fair you enough. got the speakers, the guitars, all this stuff. I'm... I've just got coolers and cold beer. That's not bad. That's a good cumbersome <laughs> thing. I want to find out what's in your tour rider. Uh, we'll get to that coming up after the break. The Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog. The Morning Hog. Riggs. No Steve today. That's 
Fine. Actually, we do have a Steve. Steve Morgan. I'm, I'm the replacement. I'm the sub Steve. Yeah, please. You do not <laughs> want better, that title. Better replacement. Of course, Josh from SR Parat in the Morning Hog Brew Review. Yeah. You can just call me Steve. We've too. got the upgraded Steve version because <laughs> we can make a Steve one. It's fine. Steve version. Because 2. the Morning Hog Steve doesn't have great beer. You have great beer, and you brought <laughs> so, us more. Uh, we had some <laughs> some head south to start, and now it's all about the Alcatraz. Well, it's going to be all about the Alcatraz. But I have to tell you something. I was thinking about on the yeah. drive down here. Yeah. When I was. You know, a kid. We were all kids at one point. Right. I remember listening to FM radio. Okay. Right? right? And I remember how cool I always thought the DJ was. Right? <laughs> right. And right. so Uh-oh. now here Where's I am, gonna... and I'm hanging out with a DJ <laughs> who is incredibly cool. <laughs> well, it, no, it really is true. Okay. Please, so, I but, don't. But uh, here's the please thing I was keep the about. applause down. Please. <laughs> please. It's. Please. Oh, <laughs> but then, if I were able to blush, I'd blush. But then I was thinking, as a brewer, that might be almost as cool as being a DJ. Well, so think yeah. about that. Yeah, it, huh? see, I'm having that kind of thing too because I always thought Josh is cool because he has contact with people like you, and you're cool because you've not only uh, you swim Alcatraz all the time, and you have a beer called Alcatraz, and my. 15 year old daughter wears her Alcatraz shirt oh, cool. to school all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, Do you know that's a beer shirt? She's like, No, it's coffee. I'm like, Well, yeah. oh, she has the coffee one, the yeah. dog over uh, yeah. But uh, I mean, all the time. Like, so, it's so like school that, photos. Does, it's a comfortable Alcatraz. shirt. Does that mean I need to get you another shirt? Yes, Did you please. Give that one? I had to give it to you. <laughs> that you was my way of to your daughter, That was right? my way of getting around to doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as we're going to taste some delicious Alcatraz beer, Tell us how right. you started, because I right. know this so, was so a I'm going to tell you the roots. story of Alcatraz, but first I just have to say again. <laughs> statewide. Well, state. State. Statewide. Yeah. Statewide. All right. So, um, oh, so this is the Alcatraz Double IPA. This is my flagship. Oh, baby. Um, it's a beer that I brewed originally in Northern California, hence okay. the name Alcatraz. Right. And when I relocated out here to Central Florida... Um, I flew the guy that I'd been brewing with out there here to make sure that we brewed the beer the same as we had before. Okay. And I brew all of these beers at Brew Hub in Lakeland. So for those of you out there who it's important for you to be local, hyper local, whatever you want to call it, these are all local Central Florida beers. You want to add anything, Josh? No, that's uh, <laughs> you know it's a, it's a great point. You know, um, Brew Hub actually does a lot of beer out there. Right. Uh, great facility, um, great on the quality and stuff like that. So, like you said, it's local. So sport local, you know. Let's tie it in with the music again. It's essentially like a band taking all their equipment, going to a cool studio, and pounding out a record. You're doing that with all of your... Uh, I'm kind of doing what Van Morrison did in Scotland, where they just took over the castle, and they all went in, and they recorded Astro Weeks in like seven days or something. I like that like. a lot. I like that comparison <laughs> right. a lot. I don't lot. know what it has to do with my beer, yeah. but it just struck me as an interesting <laughs> reference at sure. the moment that you said sure, that. Sure, I was... I was thinking about Motley Crue taking over the machine shop or something. I don't know. I, I was in a different area, but but this beer is like a is has that it has what I like the most in IPAs. It has which is just a a full hoppy flavor without an attack. I don't feel like my sensors are dulled from this beer. So thank you. And so this beer won the silver medal this year. The Congratulations, the best beer filler for the best craft beer competition. Whoa, thank okay. you very much. Right. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I have the medal here. I should probably put it on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of course. I, I thought about wearing it in. I, I would have. Is that a bit much? <laughs> Just I would have thought you won a Pulitzer or something. I would have mistaken it. And no idea. The Pulitzer comes next. Really? So silver? That I mean, look, this is there's only there, the, the only one that beat it is called Oh Yeah from Fort Pierce Brewing Company, and you can only get it at the brew pub in Fort oh. Pierce. So like, you know, this is the beer that you can actually buy. The only award winning <laughs> beer that you can buy. That's correct. I love That's that. correct. It's even better. So so a uh, quick story behind this beer in my brew making or my beer making. Um I, I started at a uh, uh place called Napa Smith Brewing Company in Napa, California. Okay. And the brewer that we hired, a guy named Don Barkley, had started originally at New Albion Brewing Company, which is the first newly licensed brewery since Prohibition in the United States. Started in 1976. Okay. So Don is a leftover 60s hippie. He's got the whole deal. I, I shouldn't even say leftover. He's still a 60s hippie. Like okay. you, can still you may be... have met Don at some point. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He came out here a couple of times. Yeah. He did a couple of events. Okay. He was actually helping, he was helping out at with... Tomoka. Yep. Yeah, he helped out oh, really? at Tomoka for a okay. little while. Yeah. So anyway, so Don is uh, hes just an amazing guy. And so I was a wine guy who started running a brewery with the most experienced craft brewer in America. And I just like via osmosis... I started learning like everything that he had to impart to really? me. I was like that, you know, I was his boss, but you know, he was my mentor. Like I was, I was yeah. like the, uh, 
Oh, like Padawan or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You know, it's so like going around like listening to everything <laughs> little, that Don beer says. apprentice. Yeah, exactly. So uh, anyway, so I, I, in this beer, I think that I've tried to hit, hit a little bit of everything. There's a lot of complexity. There's a lot of flavor going on. Yes. But there's also, if you look at the copper color, there's 15% Vienna malt in this beer. Mm-hmm. And as that malt roasts longer, it caramelizes and gets a little bit sweet. So even this, though this beer is enormously hoppy, it has one and a half times the amount of hops as the two Head South beers that we had. Okay. It doesn't taste extremely bitter because no. that Vienna malt gives you just a little perception of sweetness. It's probably my favorite part of the beer, the way it finishes off. Um, obviously, I love the hop part too, but the way it finishes, especially at the ABV it's at, yeah. super easy to drink. Uh, could be dangerous, you know. Yeah, it's an eight percent alcohol beer that does not taste like. Hello, hello. Beer. Anybody want to? <laughs> anybody want to ring that up? Eight <laughs> percent. Uh, and and I feel like if you're uh, if you haven't tried this beer and you're an IPA drinker, you have to try it. But even if you're not, like you said, the malt is kind of that bridge, right? Right. Like, oh, I don't like IPA so much. We'll try right. this. Right. Right. And and it's interesting you say that because when I have people taste my beers, I do them in the same order that Josh is pouring them for us today. You start with the hazy IPA, then you go to the single IPA, then you go to the double IPA. But the interesting thing about this one is you could put this one first or second. Yeah. In, and you're in, not in the order. Wreck your palate. Because of that little bit of Vienna malt, it doesn't have to come third. It really comes third because the alcohol is a little right. bit higher. But yeah, other than that, it doesn't it doesn't have to from a bitterness standpoint. Well, what did you leave on the tail end here that we're uh, that's going to just Well, we have something special oh. which you, you've had before. <laughs> you had it before, but I'm not sure that we did it on the show. All right. So this is the Alcatraz Double Cold Brew. So finally, for those mm. of you out there who are listening, you're like, are they only going to talk about IPAs? No, we're going to talk about a coffee stout now. So this is Look the out. Alcatraz Double Cold Brew. Okay. It's an imperial coffee stout. Okay. For this beer, I'm starting with Guatemalan coffee beans that grow at high elevation. The beans grow at 5,100 feet in elevation, so almost a mile high for those of you who are doing math out there. And the uh, the coffee beans, we leave them whole. We don't grind them. We don't put them in the boil when we make the beer. Really? We wait. Yep. Yeah, they're never ground, and they don't get in. They don't get boiled with the rest of the beer. Interesting. We keep the beans whole. We wait till the beer's done fermenting. We chill the beer down to 34 degrees. And we actually, for six and a half hours, pump the cold beer through the whole beans. Okay. So I'm making this beer the way Pete's or Starbucks makes a cold brew. I'm just using cold beer to pump through the beans uh, rather than cold water. So remember back in the day, you don't see it very often anymore, but people using Randall's? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they... it's, like, it's like a giant Randall. Okay. So we, right. what it really is, is if you've seen those torpedoes that some places use, a stainless steel, they call them torpedoes. Yeah. They stuff them full of hops, and they take the beer out of the tank, and they pump it through yep. slowly. We take a torpedo and stuff it full of coffee beans. Okay. So when people think about this beer and you taste it, whoa, are they putting sugar or lactose or all these artificial ingredients? No. It is a beautiful stout that is just slowly pumped through whole coffee beans. Oh, that's so fantastic. It's, it's actually Reinheit's wow. vote from the German definition of just having, you know, barley, yeast, malt, and water. I mean, I just left one out anyway, whatever. <laughs> but but it but it, but we're just pumping it through the the coffee beans. So you get that really rich cold brew flavor that's delicious. forward flavor to see i'm not even happy. A, and i don't drink coffee so i don't know what i'm the, the difference uh, i don't know the difference but, but, but i do you, know when you have is, a coffee it, stout it, it doesn't taste like most people's coffee no because it's not bitter okay you're right. getting almost a fruitiness to yeah. it because the coffee beans are lightly toasted so they're not dark and harsh like an espresso roast or a french roast so you're getting that's a, I, I, nice I taste a little bit of vanilla, maybe even lavender yep. in there. That's coming from the coffee bean. That's fantastic. I would think once you grind the beans and, and stuff like that, it changes does. it, right? Yeah, it changes the, the it, yeah. flavor. Yeah. It, it macerates them, tears, yeah. tears them up a little bit. Yeah, this is great. Wow. The was, craziest part about that, 8.8%. Eight point. This is eight point eight. This is eight point eight. Yeah, Whoa! It, it, it certainly does not drink like. Uh oh. No. So when we when we first you might uh, not hear the end of I the show today. When we it's a true story. So <laughs> when we brewed the pilot batch of this beer. And we saw the results from the lab at Brew Hub, and it said 8.8. The brewers at Brew Hub and I looked at each other, and we're like, nope, no way. Because higher alcohol creates viscosity, so it's heavier than water. So right. this beer should be heavy. Sure. It's not. The next thing is it creates a burn. It should have a little bit of burn. You should get like, ooh, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no burn None. whatsoever. So we sent it to another lab, an outside lab. It came back at 8.79. <laughs> this beer is 8.8. 8. We don't know great. why, You're not gonna but mess it doesn't with it. taste like it. Right. It tastes like four and a half, yeah. five. Yeah. It tastes like a Guinness, which is like 4.2 or something. We, we right? talked about the, the people assume that dark beer and the higher gravity. Well, exactly. here you go. Here's, yep. a, here's an example of that Perfect without the burn it. and the pain. <laughs> it's all the flavor and joy of it right there. Exactly. That's so good. Oh, Alcatraz. You're amazing. Oh, thank you, sir. It's, it's incredible. Uh, now It's almost as cool as being a DJ. It's all, <laughs> almost. 
<laughs> but not there. But not Number quite. two. But not quite. I Number think th- I, technically I would win that because I'm all about both. Right? Well, that's right. Oh, right. that's he's, right. He's, Josh. He's, Josh. He's there for Josh. We've, right. got, we've got the DJ Woo! Brewer guy. That's there you right. Go. <laughs> the Brew Jay. You're yeah. the Brew Jay. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Wow. Oh, my gosh. we got to get a new T-shirt for you. you got to get rid of that the shirt and get you a Brew Jay. Yeah. I can get rid of this one. Steve will help you get those and printed up. And the question up. is, is it U with two dots or is it E-W? That's Brew a great point. Brew Jay or Ooh. Brew Jay? you got to think about that. That's another thing. Yeah. yeah. you got to get licensed be from Motley Crue. After about two of these, <laughs> That's a lot. I'm sure I can get pretty deep on that one. This beer I've seen in stores, so I know you can get it a lot of places. Absolutely. But let's, let's Again, the spots. Total Wines, the ABCs. Yeah. Uh, you'll find it on draft at a number of places. Um, so, in, you know, just uh, and also whenever you're in doubt, Alcatraz, uh, Alcatraz dot beer, Head South dot beer, Facebook, Instagram, or, website, website, or srprot.com slash beer finder. Yep, that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot it. I was enjoying the eight plus percents. Well, all right. So the tour starts when. The tour is ongoing. I mean, really? the tour starts now. Right. Like today. All right. right now. It All starts. Right. This is the tour. Yeah. This, this is, is it. This is like... Can we call la- it the Black this Friday tour? This is the launch tour? event. The Black Friday, Friday tour, which yeah. starts on Black Friday. We should, we should have had tickets name. go on sale at midnight. Oh I God. forgot that oh. part. <laughs> the Black Friday special. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get the special. Everybody else has got to buy your own, yeah. but we get we get this. But no, seriously, Facebook, uh, Instagram, HeadSouth.Beer, Alcatraz.Beer. Come check it out. Come see us. We'll be on the road. Uh, for for quite a bit, all all through the winter and the spring, I'll we'll be out on the road uh, and, and always back. Um, at least a third, maybe even half the dates will be here locally in Daytona, Palm Coast surrounding area. Spreading beer cheer around Florida. There you go. There you That's go. Steve from Alcatraz. The beer Josh, cheer tour. SR Parat, once again, thank you. Statewide. Statewide. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>